Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this blouse that I decorated with some bottoms in front. I made a long sleeve with a bell shape and I love how it looks. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you make it for any occasion that you want. I think it's perfect for winter or for summer. But well, before we start, it's important that you subscribe. Well, for this blouse in a large size, we are going to use 600 grams. I will use this yarn, it's light yarn, it's number 3, and I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. Okay, I will make it all in grain. We will start making first a long strip that will go all around our body. This part will be at the height of the chest where we are going to put the bottoms. Remember? So first I will start making 40 chains. At the end of the 40 chains we are going to make 3 chains more, then we are going to count 3 and in the 4th we are going to insert a hook and right there we are going to make a double crochet. And we are going to make a double crochet in each space until we finish. Well, I already measured the strip and I have 22 centimeters. So this is the height of the strip. Okay, now we are going to make as many rows as we need until we get the wide. And I mean, that goes all around our body, okay? And look, here the stitch will change a little bit. After this double crochet, we will make a chain. We will skip one space and in the next stitch, one double crochet. Again, one chain, skip one, in the next stitch, a double crochet. And at the end of the row, we are going to finish as we started, with two double crochet. One for the edge, okay? So now again, we will turn around, go up with three chains. So one inside of the space, one over each double crochet. And like this, we are going to make one in each stitch, okay? Like this, we are going to continue the whole row. And like this, we are going to alternate the rows and the stitches until we get the long and I mean the wide that goes all around our body. Once we are going to make the row with the spaces and once we are going to make the complete double crochet. So well from here basically you are going to make as many rows as you need until it goes all around your body and this will define your size, okay? Well look, here I made as many rows as I need, I already try on. I, if I fold it and we measure, we will. I will tell you now. But for now we are going to make the top and then we are going to make the rest. It measured, if I fold it, 50 centimeters. So in total I will have one meter. Remember that I'm making this blouse with me. I'm a large or extra large size. And well, also we are going to leave a space between these strips. I mean between this strip because we are going to make more rows here between to put the bottoms. So take that into account too. And from here we are going to continue. We will make more rows all around. And then I will tell you how we are going to make the top and the stitch. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so once we have the long strip that we need, we are going to make the bottom. And the stitch will be like this, 3 chains, 1 double crochet, 3 chains and single crochet. We are going to leave a small space between them because I want to create volume and to get the A shape that I want. But you will decide how many volume you want, okay? So we will go up with 3 chains and in the first space we are going to make a double crochet, then 3 chains and single crochet, okay? And like this we are going to calculate the space, you must have the same space between them until we finished. And well look, here to close the row I made 3 chains and I made the wave, I leave the space for the bottoms and this is the space that I will leave, okay? So now to continue, 
Here you can tell better I add this extra wave, okay, for the space. Now we are going to slip one until here to start. Like this, we are going to slip one until we arrive to the top of the wave. Okay, until here. We will go up with three chains and in the same space we are going to make a second double crochet well the first chains will come as one right then two chains and in the same space two double crochet more and like this we will have a shell so well now without making any chain we are going to go to the next uh, double crochet and right there we are going to make a double crochet a second double crochet then two chains and two double crochets right there to make a shell you see so this is the second shell as you could see between shells we didn't make any extra chain we continue right away well like this we are going to continue the whole row over the double crochet of the last row is where we are going to make the shell so well I will finish this row at the end at the end we have to check if we have enough volume for the blouse that we want okay but let's finish this row first well at the end of the row is slip one to close and now we are going to repeat the first row that we made so three chains and then inside the shell right there we are going to make a double crochet two chains and then single crochet at the end of the shell Again, three chains inside, one double crochet, then three chains, and a single crochet. Well, and like this, we are going to continue, okay, alternating these rows until we get the long of the blouse that we want. In my case, I will continue until I arrive to the hips. Well, here I finish. These two rows will count as one series, right? So I finish, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 series and I finish at the end making this row with chains and a picot. I will show you, this is the same stitch that we are going to make for the slip too. And well, as I told you, you are going to create the volume that you want. In case that you want to fix it and reduce, I will show you one trick. I decided to, since the second row to start reducing because I felt that I was gaining too much volume so this is the trick that I make I make one double crochet instead a shell so instead of making a shell I make one double crochet so this is what I make one, one double crochet and one two three four shells then again a double crochet and like this is how I reduce the volume and I get this A shape that I wanted well, and like this, we are going to continue making more rows until we get the long that we want. Please see if you need to reduce your volume or no, okay? We are going to be alternating the rows and we are going to make as many um, rows as we need. Remember of the trick that I gave you. And now I will show you how we are going to make the back. Okay, so now we finished the bottom, right? Now we are going to continue. First, we are going to divide the fronts and the back. First, I get the, the exact half and then the fourth part of each part, right? So, these two pieces will be the front and this part will be the back. Okay, so here the back, right? So, we are going to... Um, divide also and leave some spaces to make the armhole. So here we are going to skip one series after the marker. So here one series, then a second series, and right here is where we are going to start to make the back. We are going to skip the same space in the other side too. Okay, so from the marker, one series, and then at the end of the second series. And we also in the other side of the marker we are going to skip one zero and at the end of the second we will just start, okay? This will be the space for the armhole. So well right here is where we are going to start in this space and we will continue with the same stitch that we made in the bottom and also in the other side where this yellow marker is we are going to skip 
one C area and at the end of the second one we will start okay so this will be the back so well here we are as I told you we are going to make the same stitch that we made in the bottom the only thing that will change is that here we will leave more space between waves because here we don't want to create as many volume as we create in the bottom remember after three spaces right there is where I'm going to start with the row I will go up with three chains and remember that here we want and well, we will leave more space between them. It, it will be the same stitch. So we are going to make these waves more wider, right? But it will be the same with a double crochet, then three chains. And we are going to calculate the space between them until we arrive. Remember also we are going to skip some spaces, three. And right here is where we are going to stop. So we are going to come back and remember that after this row we are going to make the row of shells. So we are going to make as many rows as we need until we arrive to the shoulders. And here remember we are going to continue straight and we won't create any volume. Well look this is my back. I continue straight. I made one. So here I have one. This is one series, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Well, remember that this will change because we all crochet different, but what you have to take into account is that this goes from your armhole to your shoulders, okay? So you will decide how many series you are going to make. So, well, also I will give you the centimeters so you can have also this reference too. Well, here I finished the back. Now I did get ahead and I finished the first front. Now I will show you how we are going to make the second front, don't worry. But I, before we continue, I wanted to tell you that we must have all these uh, pieces facing to the right side. I mean, try to look that the waves are in the wrong side and that the shells are facing to the right side, okay? So please take that into account. And well, also remember that I leave the same space for the armhole, I leave this uh, three spaces, then I continue with the stitch and also I skip one, two, three, four, five, six spaces because here I will make a strip for the bottoms. So I only crochet this strip and I made the same number of series that I made for the back. And well, remember that I haven't made the second front because I want to make it with you. So we are going to leave six space from the red, red marker. The same spaces that we leave here, we are going to leave them here, six. And remember also we are going to skip some spaces from the armhole. So only this strip is the one that we are going to make with the same stitch and exactly the same like we made here. Okay, first we are going to start dividing the armhole, remember, three spaces from the front and three spaces for the back too. So here we are supposed to start the row, okay? But remember that the first row will be of waves and double crochets, remember? So like we want that the shells face to the right side, that's why we are going to start with this row in the wrong side. So we can have the shells in the right side, right? So again we are going to skip these three spaces uh, for the uh, part of the bottoms, remember? So here is where we are going to start. So first we are going to make the row of the waves with the double crochets. And we are going to continue and keep it straight and we are going to make the same rows that we make for the back until we arrive to the shoulders, remember? Also to verify, let's count how many shells we have in the other side so we can have the same number, okay? So we we'll, here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, the rest is for the sleeve, okay? So we have six. Okay, so now please take that also into account because we must have both pieces with the same number of segments and series, rows, stitches, everything, okay? So take that into account if you want, you can take some notes to have that in mind, okay? So for now I will continue, remember I will start in the 
wrong side to have the shells facing to the right side so please also take into account the spaces that you are going to skip here I will put a marker so I can have that in mind so I will continue straight and we are going to make the same stitch that we made for the bottom so here I am I have the nine series that I have in the other side too I count the rows I have the same number in the in the front and in the back look how I joined the shoulders in zigzag making chains inserting the hook here and here uh, alternating the spaces and this is what we are going to repeat and make right now so we are going to make three chains and we are going to put a marker in the other side so we can perfectly match the spaces and we can perfectly joined in the correct way so we are going to match stitch with a stitch and a slip one then one two three chains and we are going to make a zigzag and insert the hook in the other side let's move and exactly in the middle of the shell here I finished I made the last row and it's a shell okay so right here in the middle I'm will, I will slip one then make three chains and right there also in the middle of the next shell of the other side I will insert the hook and like this making this zigzag path I will continue joining making three chains you see so like this is how we are going to join the shoulders okay so like this is how we are going to continue until we finish and once we finish see you there to teach you how we are going to make the slip well so here we finished to join the shoulders right now we are going to calculate how many segments do we need to make the sleeves okay so with the bottom like we are going to make the same num I mean the same stitch we are going to take the bottom and we are going to put it all around our arm to see how many segments do we need I already make it and we I need seven segments for the front and seven segments for the back so I will need 14 segments so like this right there where is the a space for the armhole we are going to divide okay seven segments for the front and seven segments for the back okay so at the end we can have all around 14 so remember that first we are going to make the base of the shells so we are going to calculate okay so I already fixed to have seven in front and seven in the back now I'm going to start with the next stitch remember that the shell we are going to make it over each double crochet so we are going to slip until there and right there I will make the first shell okay so this is up to you it, this might change according to this to your size and according to the to your arm okay so take this tip it's very useful so we are going to make the shells all around until we finished and we are going to slip one and start right away the next row in circle okay so we are going to pieces for our sleeve so we are going to make first this part that it's a little bit more tight and um, I made nine series remember that I will make this a long sleeve so first I made long sorry sorry nine series so see you at the end of this nine well with these rows we almost arrive a little bit under the elbow elbow okay so this is the half or of our slip so now we are going to continue here we are going to change a little bit and first we are going to make one row of double crochet so first double crochet over double crochet in the space only one then double crochet over double crochet and then between shells also we are going to make one okay so like this is how we are going to continue the whole row making only double crochet okay so at the end of this row we are going to slip one to close and now we are going to make and repeat the same path that we made for the front so we will go up with three chains then one chain of distance we will skip one and in the next one a double crochet then one chain 
skip one and in the next one a double crochet then one chain skip one and in the next one a double crochet we are going to repeat the stitch that we made here for the for the front remember this one so after the row of mesh stitch we are going to make the double again a double crochet row and like this we are going to continue i will show you how many series i made here for the sleeve i made one one series two three and i finished with the row of double crochet so three series and one row of double crochet and then we are going to make the last rows of the sleeve and here i increase to have the bell shape well here i finish i have four rows with double crochets and remember that here we started in the first part of the sleeve we started with 14 segments so i will increase one so i can have the bell shape that i want for my uh, blouse okay and well here you will decide uh, how many volume you want to give okay so i will make skip two spaces first and then one okay so three chains skip two insert your hook and make a double crochet then three chains skip one and in the next one a single crochet and like this is how we are going to continue remember here I have 14 so here I want to manage to have 15 and we are going to uh, repeat as many rows as we need for the long of the, the sleeve that we want I suggest that here in the bottom you change the number of your hook to make this part a little bit more loose and to have more volume without a, a adding an extra shell this is my suggestion this is my tip so I well, will continue and then we are going to make this last row with big cuts okay I continue I finished with the rows that I needed now that we are going to make the last row we are going to make the picot to make the last row we must be in the shelled row okay so here after the two double crochet we are going to make three chains and come back to the beginning and slip one then we are going to finish making the next two double crochets of the shell you see so like this is how we are going to make the last row then okay so here we finish then right in the top of the next double crochet again the first double crochet then let's let's make the second double crochet then here we are going to make the pick of three chains and we are going to come back to the beginning and a slip one and one chain to close then two double crochets and like this is how we are going to make the last row it's important that here in the last row we make this part a little bit loose okay so far it's looking so good now we are going to make the front remember that this is the same stitch that we used for the bottom when we finished to make the last row of uh, the skirt of our blouse well look how beautiful it looks our rectangle neckline i love it i love the shape we are going to make at the end a single crochet row and also crab stitch if you want well now look here in the front is where we are going to make one or some rows to make and to put right there some bottoms so we are going to make approximately five rows with single crochet and also five rows in the other side so we can put one over the other one and we can put bottoms there okay so we are right here um, first I think I'm going to make instead a half double crochet okay so here is where I'm going to start so I will make one in each stitch like this one half double crochet in each space and please count how many stitches you have in this part to, so you can have the same number in the second front too okay so we are going to make this row with half double crochet only we are going to make like five 
rows more or less and also we are going to make the same number in the other side too okay so I will count how many stitches do I have to tell you and also I will show you how many rows I made so for now let's continue but you will decide okay at the end of the day if you also if you want to put some cords instead of making this part it's also up to you and this is just an idea remember so well look I did at the end only four rows each side I have the same number of stitches in both pieces here at the end I just put some bottoms I place one over the other one so we can have something like this at the end I made single crochet row all around and I finished making craft stitch I love how the rectangle neckline looks and at the end we are going to iron using a protection on the remember very soft and gently and with this we finish look at the back look how beautiful it looks I love the result here I will show you how it looks on me I love it here at the end also remember we made this bell a uh, slip that we wanted I love the volume I changed only the I had one segment and also I changed the number of hook to have this loose effect and I love it I love the result I hope that you have enjoyed making this blouse with me but well before you go I invite all of you to subscribe remember that here we have a red bottom here below you just click it and it's in gray you are subscribed it's completely free Thank you for arriving till the end of my video and please stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to follow me on my social media too. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye bye.